truck. How has your body been responding to the chemo? I know that you just went on your eighth round, right? Yes, I mean, because that, that's that's all my body could take. Um, chemo was the worst. The first, the first, my first dose, my hands couldn't move. I couldn't pick up a fork or eat. My second dose, I couldn't smell nothing. My third dose, I stopped seeing. My fourth dose, I needed help using the bathroom. Then maybe my fifth dose, there was a lot of things going on in my body because I was taking so many pills. Then we got to my eighth dose, which was my last dose because my body can't take the chemo no more. So now that I haven't did that, I got to wait four weeks to do a PET scan. But now what's happening with my body is having withdrawals. It's looking for the chemo. So now I'm going through, now I'm going through something reverse because now my body wants chemo. So now if I wake up and I'm not hungry, it's because my body says, give me some chemo first. So now I'm, I'm going through the same thing backwards, but I'm all right. though. I'm all right. Yeah. You know, um, the thing about chemo is like, it's not only killing the cancer cells, it's killing like your normal healthy cells too. So that's why you yeah. have like the, the, um, uh, the side effects to it. Right. Um, has it been difficult for you from a emotional and mental standpoint? Like, what has this battle been like for you? Um, I, I have to talk to some people. Some some days I wake up and want to give up. Some days I want to fight. Yeah, you know, it's it's a whole roller coaster ride. Some days I like I said, some days I can wake up and I can see. Some days I can't see. Some days I I can feel. You know. You know, your, your first couple of rounds of chemo, like me, I'm, I'm a fucking porn star. There's no sexual reaction when you're doing chemo. You're not horny. Your dick don't get hard. You don't feel like yourself. And I feel like, you know, loving on something keeps me going. So it, 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 it was rough. But getting up every morning and looking at my kid's face gave me a fight. But then when they went to school, sometimes I wanted to give up the fight. But then when they come home, I'm ready to fight. So I've just been dealing with a lot of mixed motions, but I'm still here. It's just a roller coaster, right? Just like up and down. Like it depends on the day. Depends on the, the day. day. Like today I was okay. Then it started raining. And then I felt miserable. <laughs> so it all depends what, what, you know, how, what the day brings. And how do you feel about the support that you've received uh, from the hip hop community or for, from, you know, like Mike and, and other people that you know? Um, I, I still was in a goal where I, I still wanted to give up because, you know, um, a lot of my giving up was because I felt like I didn't make it in music the way I was supposed to or what I deserve or, or the other artists out there don't look at me like I'm like, like I want them to look at me. So a lot of my, a lot of my, a lot of, a lot of my mind and my body was giving up because I felt like I wasn't appreciated in the hip hop. And then my wife was like, yo, do a GoFundMe. I'm like, fuck that. I got money. What the fuck I'm doing a GoFundMe for? She was like, nah, but the bills, the this and that. And I'm like, but I don't want people to judge me. I'm the governor. She was like, fuck that. So she did it on her own. And then I started getting calls from Rosenberg. I started getting calls from Premier. I started getting calls from Envy. I started getting calls from people I didn't even know. 50 Cent said, before niggas knew what a real nigga was, it was Royal Flush. Like, that type of shit made me want to fight. So I said, these are all phone calls. Let me do like a fundraiser and let me ask people. Man, Havoc, Conway, I'm talking about, man, uh, uh, Benny Siegel, Freeway. I mean, everybody said, whatever you want, Flush. And I think from that point on, I've been wanting to fight. You know, you said that you you feel like you weren't you didn't do what you felt that you were supposed to do in music, right? Like that like maybe you didn't have the impact that you wanted. But when I hear Conway, I hear the influence from you, though. Like, do you not oh, yeah, get I mean, that? Those, those, those are my, I mean, because he, 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 where he, where he live is rough. I, I, I went out there to try to get some money. It ain't easy. They <laughs> <laughs> sitting right back home. But, I mean, he understands it. He understands it, man. And, and like, I, I listen to their music all day because that's that's my type of music. Right, right. But And, 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 I, and I'm quite, and like he told me, he was a fan of me before even, you know, while he was doing his shit. So, 
you know, or, 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 or even have like to, to have like like people that call me like Grand Pooba and Rock Kim. I'm like, I'm fan of y'all, and, you know, and for y'all to call and check on me was like amazing, man. Right. So it's almost like a your second hip hop childhood, almost like feeling like it's coming back. No, like the, you got yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, but then you know, sometimes you look in the mirror and you say, you know, you want to give up. You say they only doing this because you got cancer. So. I still fight with my emotions so much, man. Yeah. How um, how have you noticed the changes in your body since you started receiving treatment? Um, when I when I first was getting treatment, like I lost all my hair, my nails turned black. You know, you can see that my nails is black. Like my my face started turning black. Everything turned black, and I didn't have no mustache or nothing. And then you know. After I did this last chemo, I started seeing my hair grow. My nails got lighter. You know, so I feel good now. I, I smile. I think I'm coming back to myself. But my body is used to the chemo, so my body's acting up inside, but I feel good outside. Are you uh, considering taking, like, any, um, you know, alternative treatments or anything? Well, um, may, maybe, maybe like three weeks ago, I went to, um, I went to Jamaica to a healing resort. You know, and I went to a healing resort where when I went there, you got to leave your phone. There's no TV. There's no nothing. You just go in there. You may, you're meditating. You, you're taking hikes. You walk in and you, and it's, everything's liquid. There is no meat. There is none. So that, that was a healing process that, that, that was necessary. So I think, I think I'm, I'm trying to do everything to fight it. I'm not just sitting home, you know, rest in peace. I went to my friend's funeral yesterday. And we both had the same cancer, but he didn't make it, you know, and I'm still here. Right. Um, I'm sorry for your loss, man. That's, Thank that's you. terrible, Thank you. you know, and especially because of uh, what that kind of symbolizes the possibility for you because you guys have the same, you know, that. Yeah. I mean, with, with, with his situation, he was more, mine's is to fight. His was, he didn't want to, he didn't want, he didn't want to hurt his parents. He didn't want his parents to suffer. So it was like he wanted to go to, to stop his family going, coming up to the hospital, having to feed him, having to wipe his ass. Like, so he, he let himself go. I just refused to do that. Right, right. 